My name is Flavio Silioni. I come from Timisoara. This is um, a city in the western side of Romania, and I've been working um, with IDROM um, on migrants issues and human trafficking as well for seven years now. Uh, my name is Silvia Diaconu, and I'm working in uh, Ru uh, Ecumenical Romanian Association of Churches in Romania since uh, almost five years now. And I'm working um, in uh, projects with asylum seekers, refugees, um, and uh, as well in uh, counseling in preventing uh, the trafficking, uh, um, work trafficking. So our target group in our work um, are migrants, and mainly we are working with um, persons who are granted refugee protection. So they're already refugees from the legal perspective. And then we uh, work complementary with the immigration office in the integration um, program steps that they are taking to become part of our society. Uh, we're as well working with victims of human trafficking, which is another area of our expertise in Timisoara and nationally as well. And we are providing um, social assistance, integration services for victims of human trafficking as well. But we're also very active on prevention and disseminating information about what this phenomenon is. To learn about the legal system uh, uh, with regards to asylum seekers and refugees in Germany, uh, to learn about integration programs for asylum seekers as refugees, uh, in terms of uh, NGO organization in Germany? We are doing a lot of things in Romania with little resources many times. So having an opportunity to learn and see how things are being done in another part of the world, not so far though, uh, it's always exciting and very educational. The most interesting things uh, which I learned, it was uh, on Boots which was for me as very, very interesting on Boots um, uh, woman um, because we don't have it in Romania and I think it's playing a, a very important role um, in um, society and as well in the integration of uh, refugees and uh, in solving the problems uh, of refugees and uh, society. So far, I was very um, impressed by the passion that the NGOs and the activities are being done here for refugees. And I, I, I'm always um, um, excited to see what a great support and initiatives are being taken for the refugee inclusion. Of course, the, the situation is different to Germany than Romania, where we have less refugees, so the challenges are less on one level or another. So, of course, the response from the community, from the NGOs, from the government in Germany, it's needed to be more. So I'm, I'm very um, amazed by all the, the things we've seen so far. We've seen um, art projects where there is this intercultural dialogue created between the refugees on one side and the locals, and then com people coming together and discussing um, by art, by culture, by simple things, by dancing and music or painting. This is always a great thing to connect the communities. And in the end, that's what integration means, having the people together. And no culture is superior, no matter how that hard could sound. Interculturality means when everybody starts from the same base. And then there is so many things that um, you as host community can learn from the refugees. And on the other hand, the same, the refugees, there are many things that they can learn from the community. And then coming together, that's what integration means. So I was very excited to see that this is happening. Uh, on a very large scale, we've seen um, two projects that are using art. So, interesting things. It's not to learn. Maybe they could see the passion which we are having in working with people. In Romania, we have a different situation as there are less refugees. We are learned to deal and try to do as much as we can with little resources. So probably this approach where nothing is impossible, it's something that we can bring, like passion to do things and then somehow find resources for every challenge that we have. Uh, my next steps is uh, to um, uh, 
to work on uh, the networks which you already uh, have uh, today and to on exchanging um, more than uh, um, experience to have them in Romania maybe and, or, and to bring more Romanian people to see the system here. Networking and partnership, it's, it's the key in, in, in working in, in this social area and I'm, I'm meaning refugee integration and human trafficking as well because we have this um, mobility between the countries. We, we have people traveling from one place to another so we need to be in contact so we can learn the country context and also just to be in touch for future referrals. But then again, there is so many structures that are working and initiatives that are working so well here in Germany that we can take back. On one hand, um, I would think of uh, the way we use cultural projects to bring communities together, but we do it um, as part of a broader services. We could expand that to an initiative by itself that is being done here.